no doubt everybody is looking for an update on the progress on the mercury floors and it's not a whole lot but I did get a little bit done so check out the pictures and the video and leave a like and a comment and stay tuned for more I don't think I've ever showed anybody just how bad the floors are in this car this is one of the actual body mounts here uh, it's pretty much rusted right off the floor. I think it is connected further back inside there. The seat section here is quite solid, still got the original paint on it, which is great. Once you get down onto the lower part of the floor, major, major rust. Right up to the uh, drive shaft hump there, a little pinhole there, another one. Oh no, that's actually where I had the sheet metal screw for the uh, uh, piece of galvanized metal I had in here, the patch. Yeah, I had this whole rusted out area covered with one sheet of galvanized tin, fairly light, but it did a pretty good job covering the holes and uh, certainly strengthened it up a little. And this rust extends up the side there to the uh, driver's floor in front of the seat. Under the seat, again, is relatively unrusted. Once you get out here to the outside, one hole there, but under here, and the top edge of the rocker, top edge of the rocker panel here is relatively intact little hole there. I've yet to see what it's like underneath this trim panel here. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting the last two screws out. That one there is rusted to the point I can't get a screwdriver on it anymore. Same as this one, I tried to uh, drill it and it's uh, either a very dull drill bit or a very hard screw. Anyway, I'm going to attack it from underneath. I think I can get under there with the little uh, air die grinder and hopefully grind the ends of the screws off and then I can lift this trim panel off and see what we got to deal with. In a perfect world, I would buy the uh, new steel panels that EMS sells, weld them in here, but... Uh, well, we'll see. I should add that uh, this floor is a bit of a complication for installing the original seat. I got the back in place no problem, but the uh, lower seat part of the, well, the lower seat sits on here and uh, it's connected to the floor by, there's a little tab supposed to be sticking up here and the seat sort of snaps down onto it. Well, obviously that tab that uh, little tab of spring steel is long gone. One on the other side is not quite as bad, but this one is history. So uh, at least I need this piece of steel here welded in so I can get a tab on there to connect the seat cushion down. I guess we'll see how that goes. Anyway, to be continued, hopefully. Well, I guess it's time or past time for a little update on what I'm doing here. It's dark in here. Anyway, here is the condition of the driver's side floor. Pretty rough. Some metal's pretty good. Biggest problem I see here is the actual body mounts are rusted away. Rockers outside are gone. What I had on here was just a piece of, uh, well, there it is there, a piece of galvanized sheet metal held down with sheet metal screws, much like this one still is. And that worked fine. And really, even if I put new steel in here, it's not going to make a bit of difference to the way it rides or handles or looks or sounds or anything. It's just, uh, I'll know that it's got a stronger floor under it. Uh, by far the biggest rust damage is on the uh, passenger's floor here on the driver's side. I hardly 
my welding is nothing to brag about here. I'll just take a very quick look. Kicked over my penetrating oil. Uh, galvanized sheet metal patch on that side works fine. Same thing I had on this side, but I'm now welding in some uh, recycled steel from an old baler, I think it is, or a combine. Uh, biggest problem here is I'm trying to uh, find solid steel to weld to. And uh, so many places it burns through because, uh, I think there, I thought I was into solid steel and uh, apparently it was getting pretty thin. So the MIG burnt through and uh, anyway the flux core wire is pretty good at uh, filling in holes I find. I've uh, patched up a few here, some of the burn throughs. Anyway, there's more to go on that. The weather has improved to the point, or at least it did earlier this week. It was actually above the uh, thawing mark. So I could work with uh, without mitts on, which is always nice. But for today, it's quitting time. Yeah, those rockers are pretty rough. This is the remains of the, uh, the driver's side rocker panel. It's crap.